Hi there folks, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips and this is your weekly fishing report. There's still a lot of good fish being caught around the jetties right now. Um, on both sides of the rocks, we've been catching redfish. There have been a few good trout through here. There have been trigger fish. On them good calm days, you can run out to the points. Uh, we've been fishing in that, you can find them rock piles 17 to 19 foot of water. Put your weight right on top of the hook. We've been dropping live shrimp. We've been dropping cut mullet, cut manhaden, uh, cut ladyfish even been working. But them redfish have still been hanging at the end of the jetties. There have been some good oversized fish. There are also some good slot fish. Um, there have been trigger fish at the end of the jetties. There have been king mackerel out here at the end of the jetties. The Spanish mackerel have been, been coming through here also. So if you see some Spanish mackerels flipping and flopping, tie you a, a gold spoon on with some wire leader. Uh, you can really catch a big mess of Spanish mackerel. Uh, on them good calm days, we've still been hitting the surf. Um, the second gut has been holding good trout. I've been using live croaker. Uh, live piggies also been working. Uh, just be careful if you get in too close you don't want no one up on the beach so really gauge how you get into these guts you don't want to anchor on top of the sandbar you want to make sure that anchor is in the gut itself uh, we third and second gut have been holding a trout the first gut and getting them baits all the way up on the bank um, the redfish have been hanging out we've been using cut man aiden or cut ladyfish for the redfish. We've been using cut perch or live croaker for the for the trout. But still a lot of good fish. If you don't get them in one one setting, just keep moving down. You're gonna find find those fish. If you do see the bait, uh, go ahead and pull off into that bait. Get your live croaker. Throw them up in there. Uh, There've been a lot of good fish all down the beach right now. Um, so. Be careful, pick your calm days, and if you got a buddy boat, even better. The redfish have come in, so there have been a lot of good reds being caught here in the last couple weeks. There are some little guts that come in the back of Lighthouse Lake. Um, if you just go into these guts and start working that grass, some days you'll catch them up in the cut, some days they're up on the grass, but you'll see them telling. Uh, if they're in the grass, don't put no weight on, just let your bait sit on top of the grass. Try not to move it too much. I've uh, been using Cut Manhaden. Cut Ladyfish has been working on these redfish. If you can find perch, perch have been catching redfish. They have been catching trout. A lot of good fish. If you come out here in front of South Bay on this edge, especially when that water is dropping, them tides are dropping out, there have been good fish caught all the way back here into the back creek. Uh, so get your favorite bait. Uh, pick your times on your tides. It's really good to have some kind of water flow. And if you do that, you're going to catch some fish. Uh, we've also been coming into Sailboat Channel. Them drum have been hanging off in here. Been using just uh, dead shrimp, just with a lead head. And been going through here real slow with our trolling motors. Been looking for the schools. You'll see them. You'll see them drum up on top. And if you don't spook them, if you go in real quiet and set that power pole down, you can sit there and catch you a couple limits real easy. Uh, so that's the main deal on them drum is take it slow, um, try to find the fish or see if you see that dirty water. And if you do, you're going to sit there and cover, get you a box. Back here in Summer Hole, early in the mornings, we've been catching redfish. We've been catching trout through here. And then as the morning comes on and that sun comes up, you'll actually be able to see those drum up on top sunbathing. So just take your time, um, and you'll you'll see these fish. Also, back here on the east shores, there have been good trout running through here. There's also some guts coming into these fingers back here in Brown and Root. If you get an outgoing tide, which has been happening later part of the day, I've uh, been sitting on these outside and letting this water flow back out into the bay, and them fish have been coming right on out with them. So uh, be patient. Uh, watch your tides. If the water's moving, um, start targeting these channels that are coming out. And you'll you'll sit there and you'll catch your fish just running out back into this deeper part of this water. Still been catching good trout all along the edge of Lillian Channel. 
I've been using Live Perch or Live Croaker. Early in the morning, been working all the way down the Quarantine Shoreline and part of this trailer island through here in Tally Island, all the way down to Big Trout Bayou. There have still been a lot of good trout being caught. As the day comes on, I've been getting right up on the bank, uh, using our favorite cut bait, been catching reds up tight. Um, if you come up here on Shell Bank, Shell Bank right through here, been holding good redfish. Uh, you'll see them telling. You'll see that dirty water. Uh, set you some baits, nothing fast. Uh, give it, you know, 20, 30 minutes. If you feel confident where you're at and if the fish are there, they might not want to bite immediately. So that's when you really got to be patient. If you know the fish are there, sit down on them, wait till they eat. Uh, all along quarantine shoreline, there have also been good reds later part of the day, especially when that water starts flowing. Uh, been good fish all the way back down to down here to Lillian Channel, up tight, 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 getting up on by these mangroves in this grass. There have been good redfish all through here. When the tide starts going out, I've been coming up into the Big Slough. Uh, there's a lot of oyster reefs running back through here, going back into the lighthouse lakes. If you'll catch that tide when it's coming out, just post up, and then fish are going to fall off right here into Big Slough or even over here in Lighthouse uh, Lighthouse Slough. So any of these sloughs on an outgoing tide, if you'll get your baits and set them off to the edges or in the, in the mouth of these channels, you're going to sit there and you're going to catch redfish. Uh, also, then Black Drum have been coming into Big Slough. So same deal up against these oyster reefs. When you got the sun and you can actually see, you'll see them fish up on top. As long as you don't spook them, you can sit there and catch it one or two limits real easy. So main thing is, don't be in a hurry. Take your time. Look for those fish. Uh, same deal on the other side of Lillian. There are some cuts that go back into these back coves. And on these outgoing tides, I've been just posting up on the outside and setting three or four baits out there, put them in the rod holder, and you'll just see them redfish pull, pull that pole down when they do. Get the pole out of the pole holder and go ahead and set the hook. It seems like I catch a lot more fish uh, with them in the pole holder on these redfish than I do if I hold the pole. So one little tip there. And, and back here in these super flats, there's a lot of cuts coming out, coming out of these back flats into these back lakes. You can post up anywhere along these entrances. And when that tide's starting to come out, then fish are going to fall off right out here in this deeper water. So... Um, look at your tides. That's going to be a lot of it. Um, I know we've got a full moon coming up this week, so the tides are going to be a little bit different. But look at your tide chart. Uh, be out there when them tides are moving, and you're going to catch a lot more fish when that water's flowing. Those of you that ain't too familiar with Ingleside, Ingleside this time of the year, that it's good to get over here and start exploring. Uh, all around this Keywood area, uh, up against these rocks and these docks, we have been catching mangrove snapper. We have been catching redfish. There have actually even been a few triple tail caught off these rock piles over here. So when I'm doing that, I'm just buying live shrimp, uh, free lining them, or use a real light uh, lead head and start just picking these rocks away. And when you get on them, I mean, you can sit there and catch quite a few mangrove snappers. Uh, one minute you're catching them, next minute you're catching redfish. Uh, there's also been some trout up along these docks. Uh, there have been black drum on these docks. So if you haven't been over here to Ingleside, it's a good kind of less pressured area that the fish have been coming down this deeper water, and they've been hitting these rock piles, and we've been doing real well. Early in the morning, I've been working these little coves with uh, live croaker or live perch, and there have been good trout all along these banks around Barry and and all the way down. Uh, on them good calm days, been coming back around these rock piles. There have been trout all along these rocks right here. On the outside, there's been some shell banks through here. We've been using just cut bait and using just with the Carolina rig. Been catching redfish all through here on this shell bank. So you can get your favorite baits. Uh, look for that bait. Um, and get out there, 
fish with confidence. If you don't feel it, move. This area right through here comes way out. This is all shell through here. Them redfish have been hanging all along Barry right now. If you got some water flow, even better. That's what makes them fish bite. So um, get out there, pick your favorite bait, fish with confidence, and you'll wind up putting a few fish in the box. When you get done there, I've been, if I ain't got all my fish, I've been running out here to these wells, these gas wells out in Corpus Bay. I've been using live shrimp or live croaker. Um, pick you a well, work it slowly, give it 15, 20 minutes. If not, move to the next one. But there's good fish all out in Corpus Bay on them good calm days. When that wind picks up, get out of that bay because it does get rough. Uh, we've been picking up triple tails out here. Been getting black drum. We've been getting a few redfish. Been getting trout. So out here in this deeper water, about 14 foot up against these gas wells, we've been pretty successful. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.